Welcome back. As I said at the close of the last lesson, we're about one-third of the way through reassembling our like-new transmission. This is Project 4L60E, Part 2, Lesson 4. At this point, we've installed the rear section, or in other words, all of the components from the front planetary gear set to the reverse piston and the output shaft. In this lesson, we will begin reassembly of the front section, which includes the input drum, reverse input drum, band, and the front pump. Let's get started. If your transmission is a 1993 through 1998 model, you need to install this sun gear now. If you'll recall, I pointed out during the disassembly in part one, lesson seven, that it would have to be removed from the planetary gear set on 1998 and earlier models. Install it. Place it on the output shaft and inside the front planetary. Check for excessive wear of the bushings. You should only have a few thousandths clearance as you see here. If you can rock the gear side to side more than 10 thousandths, drive out the old bushings, get the new ones from the kit, and replace them. On some 1998 and all later years, the sun gear is attached to the input sprag assembly in the input drum. As you can see, our 2004 demonstration model is built this way. The gear is considered part of the input drum assembly. They're installed into the transmission together later. I've removed the transmission from the workbench to make room for work on the input drums and pump during the next few lessons. We'll disassemble and rebuild the input drum, work on the reverse input clutch, take apart and reassemble the pump, and finally, test them together as a group. After that, we'll set the transmission back on the bench to install these sub-assemblies and the band into the case. Let's disassemble the input drum. You'll need small and large screwdrivers, snap ring pliers, our homemade tool, and safety glasses. If the plastic pump thrust washer remained on the reverse input drum during disassembly, put it on the pump. There are two round tabs for holes on the pump. Set the drum aside. Take the input drum to the workbench. Disassembly of the input housing begins with the removal of this thrust bearing and a selective spacer underneath it. Set them aside. If possible, work on a bench or table which will let the input shaft go through a space like this or a hole. You could also clamp it to a vise, but use soft jaws to avoid nicking the shaft. Use a large screwdriver to remove the 3-4 clutch snap ring and set it aside. Reach in and pull out the stack of end plates, frictions, and steel. This is the 3-4 clutch pack. It's called the 3-4 clutch because it is not only applied when shifting to third, but also remaining on in fourth gear. It's very common to see this clutch destroyed. As you can see, this one is ruined. Turn the pack over and set it down on top of the snap ring 
and keep the parts in the same order as they were removed. Remove the five load release spring assemblies. Set them aside. Remove the 3-4 apply plate. Remove the four clutch snap ring. And set it like so on the three four pack like this. Remove this end plate. Turn it over and set it on the snap ring. Lift out the sun gear and forward sprag assembly. Set it aside. Pick up this thrust bearing and set it in the sprag assembly. Lift out this seal and set it aside. Pull out the forward clutch pack. There will be five friction plates and five steel plates. a wavy steel, and an end plate. Set them down in the order they were removed. Use a small screwdriver to help lift out the overrun clutch. There will be two frictions and two flat steels. Set these four parts like so. The next step is to compress the spring cage. I'm going to use the same homemade tool I used to remove the reverse piston cage, but I'll use a narrower U-shaped piece and rearrange the threaded rod and nuts like so. Get the first snap ring we removed and reinstall it in the first groove in the drum. I made this cross piece just short enough so that it can go under the ring. Tighten it down. Make sure you're wearing safety glasses and remove the snap ring. Remove the tool.
lift out the spring cage. Take the 3-4 snap ring and put it back under the 3-4 end plate. Remove the remaining components of the drum by turning it over and slam it down Back on the bench. Everything you see here should come out. The last part is the 3-4 piston. There is a small diameter O-ring located in the drum here. Pinch it together with your fingers and roll it up and out. Set it aside. Meet me in the next lesson and we'll put the input drum together like new.